So I'm gonna make a customized Corvette for my friend Mark down the road. His favorite color is maroon. Yeah, another maroon car. He's got a 93. Can't find a 93. Found the 97. Pretty nice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it apart. See now the picture on the front does not match this. So I'm going to put a maroon car in here, but I'm going to use some acetone to melt the glue from the back. Take the car out like it's never been opened. And we'll show you how we do that. So I'm going to make it really short and uh, go from start to finish. Nice. So across here, down here, and down here. Across here. Keep doing this until it soaks through. On the other side you'll start seeing it turning dark. So keep doing that. And this does work. So now it's all saturated. And I can pull this apart. I've already opened this. Just to make sure I didn't mess up, man, you know. Oh, crap moment. So, just enough to get that out. Leave this open because that glue is still active. When you put it back in and redo this and close it, it'll glue back up. This one didn't come out too good. Hmm. Let me show you another one I did. Now, to be honest, that. Corvettes uh, actually made in 1996. It says a stamp, but it's a 97 Corvette. Here's a Volvo, and you see no no paint stuck to it. Maybe I was in too much of a hurry to make this video, but look, no paint stuck to this, so it does work. Take your time and let it sink in. So I don't know what I did wrong. But I got four of those. We'll see. Anyway, how I like to drill is I got a sixteenth. That's really, really small. And then I've got the proper size, which is just a slight bit bigger for the, was it a 256 screw? Yeah. So. Drop of oil and drill. Now the next hole. So I do this first because the rivets have an actual nice centering point. So I don't drill through the side or don't have to do any firing. Whoops. You've got to find the perfect speed and feed. Now this is something I haven't seen anybody do. I have a big chamfer here. Three eighths. This gets rid of the big head of the rivet. But if you go too far, you eat up all the plastic. Now 
Then I've got a quarter inch. The four flute system is a lot more even. You find out you're not going off course as much. Okay, I think I'm hitting some plastic, and that's time. Looks really good. Let's see if it works. All right. That works. All right. Next step. Goop. Gonna dump it in the goop. Doop a doop. Doop a doop. Oh, I'm gonna put these back into the same box so I don't lose them. All right, goop time. All right, let's see what we got here. Where is it? Alright, it looks pretty good. Let me get this goop off. That almost sounds like Barney Miller. Showing my age now. You know, with Abe Bogota and Barney Miller. And I find the insides are always hard to get clean, but this one came pretty clean. Alright. Get it cleaned up. We'll be back. All right, we are back at the goop station, and this actually turned out pretty damn good. Is that white? May have to brush that up a little bit. This is definitely an older car. I can tell by the metal is one color not a mottled color let's see it's a really nice color and I don't even put the brush to it yet what uh, you know what I mean and the inside came out clean so the paint is not as hard as my other older cars like I said this is a 96 now is it possible they put 96 in a plastic base and made no this is made with new paint but this was cast a long time ago because a lot of mine are dark gray light gray dark gray light gray they're just modeled all over the place so we're gonna degrease it let it dry we're gonna prime it and we're gonna paint it maroon and his Corvette has no stripes, has nothing special, it's just all maroon. So, that's a really good metal. Alright, next. Alright, so I've got a few, uh, I've got a few rough marks on here. I'm going to brush it up real quick. Hope to keep it in camera. Man, I am so glad I wore safety glasses. These metal pieces were breaking off all the damn time, right in my face. Nice to walk glasses. Alright. Oh, that's baby smooth now. Oh, that's baby smooth now. We are ready for primer after degreasing. But I'm not going to degrease until I get the paint. I got special maroon paint on the way. I'll be here next weekend. Dang nabbit.
because it's enamel. Enamel. <clears throat> it can't go by plane. It's got to go by ground. Can't go through tunnels. Uh, pff, crap. Anyways, this is baby smooth. And a little shinier. All right, Mark. Your Camar our Corvette is on the way. Almost hit Camaro. Corvette. 1997 Corvette. Later. All right, I got the paint. I got some TSP. Gonna do some degreasing on the Corvette. I've got distilled water. Take that out, let it air dry. My paint and primer and mythical maroon. Extreme lacquer testers. That was expensive. Here comes the mythical maroon. Let's see how this works. I've waited two weeks for this. Ooh, that was a little thick. Crap. Too close, damn it. All right. The wind blowing is not helping. One thing I don't like about lacquer, it draws the flies. So, last coat. And then we'll clear coat it. Alright, time to spray, uh, what's this? Uh, clear lacquer, extreme gloss coat. Alright, so here it is, packaged up, original package, bottom is black, his favorite cover, maroon, mythical maroon, hard to see in the plastic, but here's the original, see how the bottom is red, and it's mostly white, a lot of decals. That's it. We're done, and he is very happy. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.